This right here might quite possibly be the easiest and most attractive cable railing system that we found. It goes really fast once you get the hang of it, and it's just a super clean look. There's no turnbuckles, there's no through bolt with acorn nuts that you gotta worry about getting exactly the right length. Um, it's really easy to cut the wire, install the lag bolt swagless fittings. If that's how you say it, I don't even know if that's how you say it. Uh, hey, what's up everybody, I'm Logan. Welcome back to Heirloom Builders. Today we're at the wedding barn and we're installing cable railing on this stairwell opening. So the first thing that we do is we take a layout board, a story pole to get our space even. So for a guardrail system, you're not allowed to have a space that's any greater than four inches between each one of your um, guardrail members. Uh, most of the time it's either a vertical baluster or a horizontal rail. Um, and so what we've done is we make a four inch on center mark on the template that Mike just showed us and we center that in the space between the top cap and the finished floor. We might have three and a half on the bottom and three and a half on the top, but four inches everywhere in between. We want a nice, even symmetrical spread. So once we figure out that, we cut our template down to whatever it needs to be so that we have centered top and bottom. We drill all of our holes with a, what, is that an eighth inch bit? I think 4.5 millimeters. 4.5 millimeters. It comes in the kit, thankfully, because you probably don't have one of those. So it comes, this kit from Deckman comes with the drill bit for piloting these lag connections, the crimp fitting. It comes with a wrench to tighten them. It comes with cable cutters to cut the cable. Um, and it's just, it's an all-inclusive, really easy system. We're sold on it. And uh, it's just a really nice, clean look. So without further ado, I'm gonna have Mike explain to you what he's doing as he does this. You live. All right. What I like about this setup is we have a, a left hand and a le right hand uh, thread leg. They go into our wooden post. Um, so you wanna make sure one left, one right. And um, on this setup, the uh, cable, you cut your cable an inch and a half shorter than the distance between here. So cut all these, I just took a little pencil mark an inch and a half from this post, just lay them out, cut them the length, makes it real quick. You don't really have to do a lot of measuring. So I've got these all pre-cut and you wanna start in the, with your middle cable. So I'm just gonna work my way up and down. Why is that? Why do you want to start with the middle cable? Um, yeah, the instructions said it, but it, <laughs> the, um, um, this is where everything, you got your support at your top and your bottom. So this post really isn't going to bow, certainly if there are smaller posts like four by fours. So this puts the tension right in the center. That one will, will stay tight and these all support it. So it's not going to, if you start on the outside, as you keep tighten all these, everything just uh, gets a little looser. And this is all about leverage, it's finding that spot. We're trying something new with these pre-positioning threads. So typically I'll... Because what I always did, I'll put them on a board and I could just put yeah, my body yeah. weight on them. And that's why I don't like in. these. Yeah. This would be the reason why I wouldn't want to pre-position. Yeah. Man, I don't know how Ben did this yesterday yeah, for all that. That's insane. Okay. Well, okay, we've learned our lesson and now we can show everybody not to do that. Yeah. yeah. Screw those in. I can take it ahead of you. That's what I was thinking. Let's just do that real quick because I can do these with a lot more hand screwing, but run out of strength on that. Yeah, I mean, no need to get hurt doing it. Doing doing this in place, if you screw all these in first, we thought it might be easy, you know, easier to do it that way because Ben was able to do it and somehow like, he just got more shoulder strength, but it's just a lot easier if you can cut them to length um, and go ahead and with the leverage of the floor and gravity, push them down instead of root strength.
Is this the easiest cable rail system out there? We certainly think so. Let us know what you think. As always, y'all, thanks for watching. Until the next one, peace out.